You're listening to The John and Heidi Show. Now, featuring the wit and wisdom of Dan Ferris. Okay, dudes, let's walk this sucker. On Sunny 93.3. It's The John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Good Thunder Road Thursday to you, sir. Yeah, and here's something we can get behind. It's National Popcorn Day. Ooh, I love popcorn. Uh, I also love popcorn. Mm. I like the cheddar cheese thing. I like the caramel thing. Oh, yeah. I like an... uh, was it you, John, a couple of years ago? Whipped up, uh, made uh, some uh, fresh, actually popped some popcorn with bacon, bacon grease. grease. Oh, it's Heidi's family. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, it was, oh, it was her family. Was Heidi, Heidi, Jean. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, it's, 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 it's pretty special. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> it's very good, but you need to know many people in her family have had heart attacks. <laughs> and I the think truth. there may be a correlation. Hey, John, if you're going to have a dance, you got to pay the band, buddy. <laughs> That's right. I'm not going to do it. I'm not saying that it's going to make you have one. I'm just saying it's, you know. Do it. It's there. (laughs) Who's celebrating birthdays today? Uh, Peg Bundy. I like her. Katie uh, Segal is 69 today. Nice. Holy cow. Yeah, and going from Peg Bundy to to, to great characters like Sons of Anarchy. Oh, yeah. I mean, how do you cross that bridge? She's got a heck of a career. She's pretty talented, yeah. Yeah. She's also on uh, the, what's that, Futurama? She's got a a voice. Yeah, she voiced Leela. Yep. Futurama, that was the uh, character with the one eye, right? The Cyclops chick. Yeah. 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 Okay. And this is special. uh, Robert Palmer, who I did actually see in concert before he passed away at the tender age of 54. Jeez. Yeah, died in 2003. That's, oh. Great suits. Yeah. Yeah, he did. For sure. And, uh, That's way too young. Yeah, another amazing uh, entertainer. Dolly Parton is 77 today. Nice. Oh. So you got Robert Palmer, you got Dolly Parton. You got to ask yourself, John and Heidi, Yeah. what if they got together oh, yeah. <laughs> and selected a couple of their hits, <laughs> which are fairly extensive? Say the 1980 classic 9 to 5 by Dolly. Yeah. The 88 Simply Resistible by Robert Palmer. Oh, yeah. A little, like a little mashup? Uh, a little something like this. <laughs> How can it be permissible? She compromised my principle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tumble out of bed and I stumble to the kitchen. <laughs> Pour myself a cup of ambition. There's no other way to go. She's simply irresistible with folks like me on the job from nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Thanks. I like it. Thanks. If we don't do it here, who will do it? Uh, Absolutely this is true. nobody. Uh, Quickly, some notes, uh, historically speaking. 1883, this had to just blow people's minds. Very first electric lighting system employing overhead wires. It's lit up by Thomas Edison, fires up in Rose, uh, Roselle, actually, uh, New Jersey. That guy was pretty smart. Terry Neighborhood, yeah, he was something else. Who's that, Thomas Edison? Yeah, until then, until those overhead wires. Uh, so birds literally had nowhere to go to socialize in large groups. And they couldn't <laughs> sit anywhere. Like, what did they do? That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah. It's in branches. It's exactly. <laughs> it's like before the crowbar. Crows had to drink at home. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See? 1935, game changer alert. Cooper's Inc. sells the world's first men's briefs. Or tidy whities as we call them these days. So what did people wear called them in Chicago. That? They called them jackets. Everybody uh, wore boxers, John. Okay. Or just loincloths. <laughs> That's where the term gird your loins comes from. Okay. <laughs> it does. You had to gird your loins. <sighs> I saw those for the first time in Europe. I'd never even heard of them before until I was there in 93. I'd never seen the boxer briefs before. Huh. Okay. That's true. Oh, That's I, it's fine. I was shocked. I was like, this. these things are awesome. <laughs> Speaking of briefs, possibly being way too tight, this day in 2013, Lance Armstrong <laughs> <laughs> comes clean, admitting to being all jacked up, performance-enhancing dope. How did he get caught on that? In every single one of his seven Tour de Force victories. Mm. Every one of them. How would they know if he was on all of them? I mean, they only caught him on one, right? No. Well, you know, stuff was flying around. Well, I guess... You know, to his credit, he admitted to oh. it, going, hey. Oh, so he said, okay, yeah, every single uh, one. Pull all of them, yeah. So we ah. lost. Uh, well, that lost was stupid on his part. <laughs> there you go. Well, he's an honest <laughs> guy, apparently. And, you know, being a very, very, very lifelong, mediocre uh, athlete kids, and, and, this, and I do this for the children, you two know that. 
performance enhancing drugs are they're great let's face it <laughs> <laughs> what do you no that's not the but they could cost you a testicle <laughs> <laughs> is that what cost him the- your body your choice <laughs> Jeez. well i know you know we all know and uh, we can just move ahead here <laughs> and we're gonna do that it's the john and heidi show uh... bonus hour with dan ferris do you ever get credit card offers in the mail those are usually the worst offers they spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address the people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run at bettercreditcards.com we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Snow Jam Comedy Festival kicks off in Sioux Falls today. We've got several comics joining us. One of them, Christian Williams, is on the line. Where are you from, sir? I am actually from Asheville, North Carolina, originally, um, but I've lived in Columbia, South Carolina, and done my comedy mostly around the Columbia area now. Well, we welcome you to Sioux Falls, South Dakota for Snow Jam Comedy Festival. Have you been to Sioux Falls or anywhere in South Dakota in the past for comedy? I have never been to South Dakota for any reason or for comedy in the past. Well, we are super excited for Snow Jam Comedy Festival, which again kicks off today. Christian, did you bring some warm clothes with? Because it gets kind of chilly here. Oh, I have some flannels and some ski jackets ready. Um, I'm learning that I can buy insulated pants. So I have to go pick some of those up. I love it. That is awesome. Now, what was it that first got you interested in doing stand-up comedy? And how long ago did you start? Uh, I first got interested in doing stand-up probably about um, seven years ago. Uh, and what got me interested in doing it is I had a friend who wanted to try it. Uh, and for years, I'm like a guy who grew up, you know, as a kid watching the Comedy Central specials on TV and stuff all the time. So when I thought of stand-up, I was like, anyone who tries it already has five minutes, you know, until I went to my first open mic. And then I realized, oh, they'll let anyone talk for five minutes, whether you're prepared or not. And that kind of gave me the confidence to go and try it. Uh, I waited until my friend moved, and I went and tried it when I knew that, like, none of my friends would be there, and it was a room of just strangers. So, And it kind of sounds weird, but when it's a bunch of people you don't know, it kind of takes the pressure off, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think one of the hardest things, and I don't know if you agree with this, is when you're watching an open mic or a show, is like watching someone perform for the first time in front of their friends, and they don't do well. Because it's like strangers, it's no harm, no foul. Like, who knows if they remember your name or who you were either way, you know, even if you do well. But if you do bad, your friends kind of remember that if they're in front of you. And the great thing about the Snow Jam Comedy Festival, the comedians, there's about 30 of them from all around the country that are coming to Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Again, it starts tonight, goes tomorrow and the following day as well. But these are really funny comics from all around the country. They submitted videos. They were selected. They were the winners. And it is a very funny group. Yeah, it'll be it'll be great because, I mean, anyone that's coming, especially what I'm excited about is like, it's exciting to get to do a new room in a new area that gives you like a lot of energy. I've done a lot of rooms in the Southeast. I'm excited to be around snow. I'm excited to see people who see snow. Like it'll be, I feel like everyone will have such great energy there, which is a huge part of comedy as well, because we're all excited. Like it's not like, you know, you do local shows and you're excited for those, but I know that everyone coming to the festival is going to be extra excited So the energy is going to be coming from both sides as the comics as well will be pumped. Snow Jam Comedy Festival is a festival. Do you get out and do quite a few comedy festivals or is this one of your first? Uh, So I've done one comedy festival for stand-up. I've done five or six for improv. So at Snow Jam Comedy Festival, are you going to do mainly stand-up comedy or or will there be some improv as well? Uh, I will only be doing stand-up in Sioux Falls. uh, So I'm very pumped about that. I'm really excited. Like I... (laughs) I applied specifically, there are different websites where you can find them, and I was like, they have a comedy festival in South Dakota, and I was like, yeah, I gotta go. (laughs) You know, you don't, I've never met anyone from there, I've I've met a lot of people in my life, so I'm excited to go there. It's the only reason I would ever have to go there, and it's kind of like an exciting purpose to go to South Dakota for. Christian, here's what's going to happen. You're going to be here this week. You're going to fall in love with it, and you're going to end up moving to South Dakota. Yeah, I'm worried about that. I'm a a Hallmark Christmas movie guy, so I know the snow is going to get me emotional. Well, we are super excited to have you in Sioux Falls for Snow Jam Comedy Festival starting tonight. For people who'd like to find you, how do they find you online? Uh, The best way to find me online is my Instagram. It's at Sup, I'm Christian on Instagram. I also think it's that on all of my social media as well. So if you want to follow me on anything else, but I mainly post on Instagram about my shows and different content I create as well.
Well, I am excited to see you at Snow Jam Comedy Festival, which kicks off tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you. Again, Christian Williams, one of the many funny comedians you're going to see at Snow Jam Comedy Festival, which kicks off tonight in Sioux Falls. I'm on the website now, snowjamcomedyfest.com. And when you click on tickets, you can see there's a VIP pass that gets you in for the whole week. I don't know if there's any of those left because I know we were getting really close to the bottom of the barrel on that. But we do have... Frostbite Comedy Showcase, that's tonight at Remedy 611. And then we've got uh, Let It Snow Showcase tonight, another comedy showcase, also Remedy at 611. Then tomorrow, Spellbound Magic Shop presents, uh, that is the Snow Jam Snow Laughing Matter Comedy Showcase. Eh? See what they did there? Also tomorrow night at Spellbound Magic Shop, we have Miss Shannon, who we're going to have on the radio with us tomorrow morning to talk about her show that's coming up tomorrow night. And then that is followed by the Snow Time Comedy Showcase, which is also tomorrow night, and that's following Miss Shannon at Spellbound Magic Shop. And then we're back to Spellbound on Saturday. Uh, we've got Jackie Cation's The Dork Forest Live podcast recording. That's happening at uh, Spellbound Magic Shop. And then Boss's Comedy Club in T, Saturday night, we've got Snowflakes Comedy Showcase, and then that's also the same location for Hot Cocoa Comedy Showcase. And then we've got our final headliner, Jackie Cation, as seen on The Late Show and Comedy Central. And she'll be wrapping things up on Saturday the 21st at Boss's Comedy Club. Get tickets, get details at snowjamcomedyfest.com. S-N-O-J-A-M, snowjamcomedyfest.com. If your plan for the new year involves getting your financial life in order, I suggest you start with your mobile phone bill. How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone at mintervention.com. You can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. And now Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Yeah. It is time for Stuff Dan Finds Interesting. Dan, what do you find interesting on this Thunder Road Thursday? Give it away a $25 Thunder Road gift card. Woo! Just make it rain all up in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> rain all up in here. <laughs> you got all kinds of cool stuff. In fact, I would uh, suggest, if you've never been out there before, combine the axe throwing with the bumper cars. <laughs> <laughs> bumper car throwing? That's Making memories at Thunder Road. There's an extra charge, there you go. but yeah. it's worth it. Let's look at the magic winner eight ball here. Heather, can you, gosh darn it. Heather, you got the name in front of you. Can you help me out the last name? Thank you very much. And I've actually, Yay! yeah. Okay. So why is that last name familiar because to me? Because we met her. I, I looked after we drew her name. I searched mm-hmm. my email because I'm like, I know that name. Yeah, as soon as her, you said it. Her son sang the national anthem with another child at the uh, the policeman's dinner uh, a couple of years ago, law enforcement banquet. Right, right. And we were, we were sitting at the I table. I was there. Right I was now. at that table, yeah. And then we said, hey, this young man want to sing at the 4th of July? Oh, her kid did our 4th yeah, of July deal. sang the 4th of July right. at, uh, at the fairgrounds. So uh, very cool. Well, this is just blessing after blessing. It is. It's very neat. What so this is. Things excited are, that they won. That's you know what I find interesting? What What's that? Dayline, Hopkins, Minnesota. Ooh. I'm very familiar with Hopkins. It's yeah. western suburb of Minneapolis. You used to play them in hockey, as a matter of fact. Hmm. Bunch of cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they were cheating. I just wasn't really paying attention. Uh, Glen Lake Elementary School. I happen to know exactly where that is. Uh, recess is a mixed blessing for these kids. Sure, on the one hand, it's a bunch of fun, lots of great stuff to do. On the other hand, not all the kids can do it. This particular elementary school does have a number of special needs handicapped children. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So some of the fifth graders got together because one of them noticed that one of his little buddies was just sitting there and not being able to do much of anything at recess. So they approached some teachers in charges and said, hey, how do we get this playground so, you know, all these other kids can use it here? Oh, nice. Aww. And the teacher actually sat down and did some math and all this handicap accessible equipment and everything you would need, whatever. Comes up with a price tag. Now, keep in mind, this is just a little elementary school in Hopkins, Minnesota. Yeah. He figured, hmm. About three hundred thousand dollars. Holy cow! Did not stop these kids for a minute. No kidding. They printed up flyers, started going door to door, started taking donations. That is awesome. Oh wow! Then a couple of uh, people who wanted to keep it 
confidential sent a couple big checks their way anyway they they broke they busted the bank they got the money that is amazing they I got the money these that. are fifth graders i love that so that's much so cool. and that's something else some future leaders of america you right bet. There. according to young wyatt he says you know it just didn't seem fair that some kids were just left out yeah miela said and it's really sad to see other kids go through that then young rice riley said yeah, they just, I always notice they just didn't look happy and recess is about having fun. Oh, yeah. what great kids. Good job, Mom Hugs and Dad. Hugs for everybody. Yeah, and so uh, this went so well, so overwhelmingly, these kids are going to keep at it until they've like refitted every playground in the city. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, uh, That's yeah, just, so cool. What great kids. <laughs> Yeah, so if they huh. can make it happen, what the heck is our problem? I gotta get some, exactly. Got to get some kids to start making some uh, calls for us to go out and maybe get a new, <laughs> new transmitter. Yeah. I'll get you a list. We have a shopping list. No, that is very, very cool. I love that. Yeah, yeah I found it, that interesting. Yeah, did you? I did. Okay. I, I also found that interesting. Three out of three, Dan. I found it very, very sweet. I'll bet everybody listening found that interesting. It was really good. Well, then my work here is done. So it's <laughs> <things. laughs> Until next time, I'm Dan Ferris. <laughs> Saying, hey, John and Heidi have prosperous, blessed rest of the day. I'll catch up with you in the AM. Sounds good. It is the John and Heidi Show bonus hour with Dan Ferris. Do you ever get credit card offers in the mail? Those are usually the worst offers. They spend thousands of dollars mailing them to anyone with an address. The people who actually read their junk mail end up paying the price in the long run. At BetterCreditCards.com, we offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a credit card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we probably have it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Here's your Market Beat Minute for Thursday, January 19th, 2023. Equity markets went wild Wednesday as investors cheered the economic data and then realized its true meaning. The surprise decline in producer-level inflation is good news for those concerned about inflation, but the retail sales figure suggests the damage is already done to the economy. Retail sales are up year over year but fell more than 1% monthly as higher prices and rising interest rates cut into consumer spending. The takeaway from the data is that the S&P 500 pricing power may be headed out the window as input costs fall and demand for finished goods declines. The data that investors truly need to watch is the consensus figures for S&P 500 earnings. The consensus figures are in decline for the first half of 2023 and are a dead weight for the market to bear. Now that index price action has reconfirmed resistance at the 4,000 level and the top of a downward sloping channel, it looks like January will end the market flat to down, which is not a good sign for what the rest of the year will bring. You can get the inside track at marketbeatminute.com.